today I'm going to show you how to use a Canva template to make this really easy and cute back to school poster that you can print right from home and then at the end I have a special little book I'll show you that I'm adding mine to. So to start off once you open your template link you're going to sign in. I'm just going to sign in with Google. If you don't have a Canva account yet you will have to make a free Canva account um, but super easy to do. And now that you have your template open, you can go ahead and change any of the details. You can change the font, you can change colors. Um, I'm changing this one to be preschool, so I'm just going to highlight kindergarten and type in preschool. You can change um, the age and height to match your child. And everything on this template is um, free elements. So you should be able to download and print without having a pro account. Some of the things I'll show you in a minute do require a pro account, but for this one, we're just keeping it really simple. So all of the editing options that a word processor has, you can center things, you can move things to the front or back, resize, here I'm going to show you how to add a little graphic and I'm going to try and do an apple. As you scroll over, you're going to see some of them have this little crown on them and that means you have to have a pro account to use that item or they'll make you pay for the element when you try to print it out. So just as long as your element doesn't have the little crown, that means it's free. So I'll add this little apple in here and this is just to show you kind of, you know, that you can add different colors and elements. I'm going to send that to the back, maybe reposition, resize a little bit, and basically that's it. Once I'm ready to print this out, I'm going to click that share button in the top right corner. I'm going to click download, and I'm going to change mine to a PDF print so that I can print from home. Here you can select which pages you want to print. I only need to print the first one for right now, maybe you want to print all of them, but I'll just do page one. Okay, and then you should see right away the download button get highlighted. Mine wasn't showing up right away, so I started clicking a couple other buttons to see if that did anything, but I think it was just a matter of my internet going slow and not loading. Um, so I'll fast forward here a minute, and I'm going to click that download button, there it is. Once you open your document and are printing, make sure you check your printer settings. Um, I'm using cardstock, so special paper, and I'm setting my quality to best. Make sure it's in color, and here you go. That is how quick and easy it is to make these back to school posters. Now you're ready to take photos with your child. And then here's a little keepsake book that I'm creating for my kids where I will put mine when I'm finished. So every birthday I'm making them a little milestone page. And then I thought how easy would it be to just slip these first day of school posters right into their keepsake book and I can hang on to them and look back on them later on. Don't forget that there's a last day included as well, so you can always come back at the end of the school year and see how your child has changed over the year. Let me know if you have any questions. The link to purchase this template, if you wanna use this one, is in the description. You can get it in my Etsy shop, but it's also included in my craft club library, the member library. So if you decide to subscribe, you will also get tons of free printables and templates just like this one that you can use throughout the year. Thanks so much for being here and following along today.